From just off the shores of Lake Erie, EA Sports brings you coverage of the NFL from Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Cleveland Browns. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. To throw is Watson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and eight. Out of the gun, Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Now it's Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they get five there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. They run again on first down. Chubb. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Now Watson. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and the Browns are out to a 3 0 lead. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really 
goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him both inside and on the perimeter. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And running with power here. And he will take this one back all the way inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Now Prescott. He's got it complete to Tolbert. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards the pick up there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw is Prescott. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this. Hit. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Naheem Hines. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On first and ten, Watson. And pass complete to Moore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. 
As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. This thrown quickly out to Cooper. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. From the 37, they work on second and six. As they've got it as we resume action. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end, the Joku. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, 37 yards, and the Browns have regained the lead. And there's a situation where as a tight end, once he gets that end zone in his sights, he's not going to back down from anyone. He doesn't worry about running to daylight. He doesn't mind running through contact. That's totally fine by him. Extra point good by Hopkins, and the lead is now 10-7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And while all of that was going on, we have an injured player out there in need of some attention. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. This is Hines. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Watson now to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Now Watson on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Moore, an 11-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. 
Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Hopkins with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Anytime you hear the term an explosive run, most teams I know define that as any run over 10 yards, and they got that and more. How about a lot of credit for the big guys up front? That offensive line firing out, creating plenty of space, and a big run ensued. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely, eight yards on the carry. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Two yards to go, second down. On play action, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards, the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Here is third down and four. Prescott to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 39. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. A first down carry by Elliott. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Second down and six now. Now Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the play. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Elliott is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. A 
And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Prescott on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And his kick is indeed good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. This fielded right at the goal line. The Browns drive about to get started. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On second down, here's Watson, and that'll be incomplete. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Watson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain of 39 that time. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and a couple. To the air yet again, Watson. Right back to Njoku. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now a first down throw, Watson. Wide open. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. To throw on second is Watson. And he'll just get rid of it. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Hopkins' kick is good, and they double him up here. That makes our score 20-10. to 10. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Well, now how about this return? So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Throwing. Prescott finding Tolbert here over the middle. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. At the 23, it's second and 12. Here's Prescott. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this returnable for Hines. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Cleveland offense ready to go. On first down, Watson. Completes the pass to Judy on the crossing pattern. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Watson, off play action. And that's caught at the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 
A big pickup of 38. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. They run with Hines. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and bunching. And there was another first down run right there. Quick throw completed by Watson. Touchdown, Browns! Deshaun Watson on target to David Njoku. And the Browns had six to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. It'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. They go to Elliott again. Powerful running, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On third down, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Inside give to Elliott. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down.
from the shotgun. It's Prescott. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? The give is to Elliott. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Prescott off play action. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Chauncey Golston gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback, run those extra defenders on the field, dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. The Browns send out their punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. 
I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. They work now on second and nine. Here's Prescott. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. This offense so far on third down, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Off the play fake, Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time, Prescott on fourth. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. And some strong running. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and three. Now Chubb running right. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. Here's second and ten. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Njoku. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause.
Again, it's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Naeem Hines, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and 10, Prescott into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And the Browns are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. They begin the drive with Hines. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 55 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Back to the ground, this time it's Chubb, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.
It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.